My name is Bridget Marks Jackson, and I am the PTA president of Mount Vernon City School District. Welcome to our Parent Involvement Day 2021. I would like to introduce you to Mr. Charles Jarvis, one of the founding members of Mount Vernon Parent and Community Forum of Education. Enjoy your day. Uh, good evening again, I'm sitting here in my living room. Uh, continuously contribute to our community development and our community moving forward. This is um, <clears throat> 2021 and it is National African American History Month and we are, mo we are moving to us National African American Parents Involvement Day, which is the second Monday in African American history. I think that sounds so great. I think our parents need to understand the significance of that. Uh, Joseph, this is an initiative that actually came out of the Million Man March. So I'm just going to highlight some of the, the incident that took place um, during the 25 years of existence of Parent Involvement Day. Number one, Mount Vernon is very, very fortunate to be able to have this initiative as being a part of its its mantra. Uh, I think that Mount Vernon itself have been recognized um, nationally for some of the contribution that Parent Involvement Day have created for them. I think in, in, in the year 2000, uh, Black Entertainment Network to this district to um, to record National African American Parent Involvement Day and the contribution of the Mount Vernon School District being involved in parent involvement. So we're talking about African American history, but we're also talking about um, the district of Mount Vernon making history because as a national initiative, we have been out there and people really know who we are. Uh, as, as a result of this initiative, we have presented in different states. Um, I know that we presented in, in New Jersey and uh, the, the district um, thought that it was something that they need to be a part of. But everything takes time and everything, every action really causes a reaction. So you do get uh, pushback when you are bringing an initiative forward, especially something that um, have never been seen or have never been done before. We even came up against people. I could remember we was at the board um, one morning until three o'clock in the morning, trying to get um, uh, uh, an issue passed through the board for us to be able to take 13 parents from here to Ypsilanti to um to to, to a conference and, and and normally when parents leave from this district and go to the conference when they come back into this district they become involved in the school district either being a part of um the the voluntary teachers um or they themselves become involved in helping in the school themselves uh, we as an organization used to try to help parents to understand that you, the, the, the state of New York start to monitor your children from their second grade reading scores. They make sure they look at their reading scores and use those reading scores to determine how many prisons they will build in the state. And that is not just talk. That is statistically there. You can go on the New York State um, Education website and you will find all these things there. The stats are there. Our parents do not take the time to arm themselves with the, um, with the kind of information that they need so they themselves can become advocates for their children. And our parents need to understand that. You know, you cannot be afraid about advocating for your children. Because if you want your kids to be successful,
they have to be granted an opportunity. And opportunity does not show up unless you become advocate for your children. The other thing that I think it's important, I think when kids is learning and a child is in the building, um, that child should know the history of the building that they are in. Because what it does to be in a building that George Washington slept in or Barack Obama gave an address from that building, motivate that child in such a way.